Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Zahra Mirsadegi, an 18 year old polyglot. Currently I'm living in China and I have disappeared on YouTube for the past six months. There are a lot of stories that I'm so excited to tell you guys and that's why I decided to make a get to know me slash life updates about what's going on here. So I am Zahra Mirsadegi, an 18 year old student. I am originally from Iran with a Turkish and Persian ethnicity. I have an older sister. I know most of you guys know her. She's Mahia Polyglot. Um, she's my best friend. She's five years older than me. And, uh, I am learning eight different languages. I started learning these languages since I was five or six. I have started learning French, Arabic, and English together at the age of five. It was not my decision. My parents uh, helped me to enter this journey, the language learning journey. So back at a time, I took part in classes for these three languages, but I was not really into language learning for the first few years of learning different languages. So I could not really improve my languages for the first five years of learning them, except Arabic. After five years of learning Arabic, my Arabic was pretty much like native speakers, yes. And, but no, my English and French were not really good. But then when I turned 13 or 14, I have started learning Spanish. I really took uh, language learning more seriously. When I was 14, I've started my Instagram account. So that was one of my biggest motivations to continue language learning because I was posting a lot of videos there, uh, making improvement challenges and many other things so it was a very nice motivation for me also my sister knows a lot of languages so she was actually the person who was hyping me up inspiring me and and then yes i started learning spanish when i was 14 and the reason why i've started learning it was because my french back at the time was pretty good and i said why not i, I already know french so why shouldn't I learn Spanish? Also, there was a family tourist who came to Iran uh, when I was 14 and then I met them and they were speaking Spanish and I was replying in French to them. And I really remember that was a spark uh, in my mind that made me actually start learning Spanish. And then after Spanish, the age of 15, I've started learning Chinese. The reason for me to start learning Chinese was obviously my beautiful sister. Um, she studied uh, in China. I was one of the biggest reasons why I've started learning Chinese because at a time I have actually decided to come to China. Yes, four years ago, I decided to come to China. It's been four years since I decided this. And since I had this decision, that self-study Chinese till HSK 5. I took my HSK 4 exam last year and I passed it. And then after learning uh, Chinese, we moved to Turkey. I really needed to improve my Turkish a lot more. I took part in the classes that we had in my school. Uh, last year, I started learning Portuguese. And the reason why I started this language was because I really like Portuguese, okay? It was so close to Spanish and I used to watch uh, football. <laughs> I used to watch football, yeah. Then I found a Brazilian friend and we started practicing together and I actually improved my Portuguese like that. So this is a journey of me learning eight different languages, basically. And now we move on to China, yes. Why did you come to China? When did you come to China? Did it, why didn't you even say that on your account? So yeah, five months ago, I came to China. I was really, I was like, oh, I don't want to continue YouTube because I was super busy and I really did not have time. Five months ago, I came to China. I've got a full fund scholarship uh, from the Confucius uh, Institute to study a one year of advanced Chinese program and it was intensive Chinese. So our classes started from 8.30 all the way to 4.45. I came to China, I took part in these classes. Now I live in the campus. I'm studying uh, the actually the highest level of intensive Chinese uh, program in my university. 
so that's why i was extremely busy i have found a lot of friends from different countries so i improved my languages with them and uh yes so this is why i could not come on youtube uh it was so hard for me to make videos to create content especially when i used to see that my account was not really growing and like why would i make a video when nobody's supporting it or anything i had this idea and then i didn't have like a very nice place to take my videos in like my room was like a very normal uh dorm and then like i could not find a good place to make videos in basically so this place is my friend's uh yeah she's there <laughs> my friend's dorm she's living outside the campus and i was like this place is the best place for content creation and she was like and i was like i'm gonna come here i'm gonna leave here <laughs> so if you guys see a lot of videos of me here that's because i come to my friend's house it's literally one hour away from my university but i just come here for content creation and to make like good quality videos that's my bachelor's degree um so i'm going to start my bachelor's degree on september 2024 so i have like how many months left um seven months left okay i have already applied to many universities i have applied to some top universities you guys follow me from like uh three four or even two years ago i used to talk a lot about this one specific university but i'm not gonna talk about it anymore i'm gonna talk about it once i get accepted there so yeah there is this one university who, uh, which i was obsessed with obsessed with i swear and this is actually my biggest reason why i have started learning chinese and i've been studying chinese like this I applied to that university and some other universities i have applied in economics and finance in some universities and business administration in some other universities and i'm going to study them in chinese obviously um so this is going to be my bachelor's degree and yes i'm going to stay in china for my bachelor's degree i'm not really planning to leave china um so i've been studying so many languages for the past 10 years you guys know so i have a, a pretty good experience living in or yeah living traveling to different countries meeting meeting a lot of people from different countries uh cultures and whatever but i can definitely tell you guys that living in china was literally the best experience of my life so i don't want to lose this i don't want to go to another country so my life long-term plan is to stay in china if you know a language you don't have a problem in that country like i can communicate with everyone if i go to buy something if i go shopping if i go to hospital if i go to bank if i want to make friends if i have a question no it's literally like my like i don't feel anything and that's amazing about living in a country where you know their language this is muchi 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 that's amazing about working i've been working since 2021 i have my instagram account i usually like i do advertisement but not a lot my most recent job right now is just chinese language teaching um, I teach Chinese to students, Iranian students, but right now if you guys want any Chinese language classes, private or group classes, you can uh, text me on Instagram and you can tell me that you guys came from YouTube so that we can have Chinese language online classes together now i'm just trying to grow my youtube channel to see what's gonna happen let me know if you guys like this video so i make more you can ask me some more questions on the comment section and i'm going to answer all of them uh don't forget to subscribe like comment follow my instagram account see you guys in the next video bye